Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be showing you how to add background music to your videos for free in Windows 10 using the Windows 10 Video Editor. And yes, there is a Windows 10 Video Editor. Many people don't know about it because it is part of the Photos app. So we're gonna get right into that in just a moment. But hey, if you're new here, my name is Ken and this is Northern Viking Every Day. And we bring you videos on reviews and how to's. So please consider subscribing, it would really help me out. But let's go ahead and dive right into adding background music to your videos. All right, so here we are on my Windows 10 desktop. One thing I wanna show you before we get rolling, I've got a couple files here on my desktop. The first one is called Cruise on NCL. It's of a cruise we took to Alaska. This is the video file that we're gonna be adding some background music to. It's only 17 seconds long with a couple different clips in it. So that's the video file. Then I've got an audio file here and this is royalty free. I downloaded it from YouTube. This is the music we're gonna be adding to the background. As well as I've got a second video file here. If you want to add multiple video files to your video, you can easily do that. Now, we need to go ahead and open up the video editor. There's a couple of quick ways to do that. The first would be to click on your start menu here and you can scroll through your programs until you get to the photos app under P here. Um, just go ahead and click on the Photos app and that's gonna load up the Photos app for you. Or you can go to your um, search bar down here if you have one and just type in Video Editor or start typing it. You'll see Video Editor come up under Best Match here. You can go ahead and left click on that and it's gonna load up the Video Editor for you. Now, if you go through the first method I show you, you of the Photos app, you'll be under this Photos tab at the top. You want to make sure you're clicking on Video Editor here at the top to get to the video editing side of things. Once you are in here in the video editor, we just need to go ahead and click on new video project. If you've worked on some existing projects, they're all gonna show up in this lower area. And this software actually auto saves for you, so you don't even need to worry about that. But let's go ahead and click on new video project and load up a new project. It's gonna load us into the video editor and we can name our project. And this is what um, the output file is gonna be called. So we can call it, maybe we'll call it cruise with music. You can name it whatever you like. From there, just go ahead and hit OK. Click on OK with the left mouse button. That's gonna load up your project here. Now, this might seem overwhelming if you haven't done any video editing before, but don't worry, it's quite easy. You've got your area right here. It's called the project library. That's just a holding area for all your video files um, so you can easily access them. This black, big black window in the top right here is your preview video or window so you can watch the video before you export it. And down here is where all your video files are gonna go. So those are the main areas here. Now let's get our project set up. So right now you can see this big black area is 16 by nine, so kind of a wide screen to match a television. If that's the direction you recorded your video in, you are all set. If you do need to change that, maybe you recorded your videos vertically, maybe you're using them on Instagram, something like that. You need to click on these three dots in the top right hand corner. And you're gonna see right here, it says 16 by nine. Oh, 16 by nine. And you can switch it to four by three if it's an old video, um, you can do that. You can go here and make portrait, which would give you a vertical video. So if you filmed it vertically on your phone maybe, um, and you can switch that to nine by 16 so you'd have a vertical format. And we're gonna be switching that right back to make landscape at 16 by nine. So we're all set there. You can play with that setting to make it look um, the correct orientation for your video clips. Now from there, we need to just go ahead and bring our video clip in here. So there's a couple quick ways to do that. You can click on add here and click on from this PC and search your computer for your video files. That's the first way to do it. The way I like to do it is just drag and drop my video file just like that into this area. So it's gonna bring that in. I'm gonna actually bring in this other video clip here as well and just drop it right there. So we have both of them in there. So um, you've got your first file and you've got your second file right here. So you can select them, you can highlight them by clicking on them and check them. So next thing we need to do is, let me just hover over these. Oh, um, what we wanna do is remove the video clip to the bottom in the storyboard, which is quite easy to do. Um, you can either highlight it and hit place in storyboard right here, or you can just drag it and drop it down there just like that. Once it's in the storyboard here, you can hit play right over here 
and watch your video. So anything that is in the storyboard, you can view on the right screen, just like that. Now, what you wanna do, if you have a whole bunch of video clips, we brought in two of them here, you can add as many as you like in here, but once they're in here, then you can drag multiple video clips down. So if you wanna make your video longer, you can add multiple video clips right in here. And you can see the total length of the video over here on the right hand side. Now it's 48 seconds long. Um, we, I'm gonna pull out that second video clip, but if you have a whole bunch of clips that you wanna put in, they'll keep, you can keep adding them over here. And don't worry, um, when you drag too many in here, they'll, it'll create more black boxes for you. So I'm gonna actually delete this one. I'm gonna right click on it and remove this video clip. So we've got, just like that, we're only adding music to the one clip today. So from there, we need to adjust the volume. Maybe the volume is too loud on this. So we're actually adjusting the volume of the main video clip, not of the background audio right now. So right here, you're gonna see a little um, speaker. It says adjust volume. If I left click on that, you're gonna see a slider bar and you can adjust the audio from the main video right here. So this is the audio for the initial video. So if I lower that halfway, maybe there's lots of wind noise, things like that. You can lower that right there. I'm just gonna hit play. And I don't know if you can even hear anything anymore, but there's still some mild audio in the background, but it's not windy um, like it was before. So we're just gonna hit pause there. So now we're all ready to start adding background music to our video. So there's a couple different ways to do that. First, they have some preloaded background music in here under background music. So we're gonna do that first and then we'll show you how to add your own custom music. So go ahead and click on background music here at the top. And once you've done that, you're gonna see a whole list of music here. You can go ahead and pick whichever one you like. If you hit play, it's gonna start playing it for you. So if we hit play block party here, you can hear that. And if that's the one you like, you can um, select it. You can also adjust the volume level here. And let's turn that down a bit. Um, you can sync your video with the music's beat. I'm gonna turn that off actually, but if you'd like to do that, you can do that as well. We're just gonna hit done, and it should have applied it to the whole video. So if I take this slider back to the very beginning and hit play, our, our video should have music in the background now. And it does. So we're, we're all set if we wanna use some of their their music. Now, I'm gonna go turn that off and we'll show you exactly how to add your own music. So just click on background music, hit none, and then done, and that'll turn off the background music. The other one we wanna do is click on custom audio. So if we click on custom audio here, just like that, and I'm gonna actually move this slider back to the very beginning of our video, just like that. So you can see our whole video is in here. We wanna make sure that's at the very beginning. And you'll see this custom audio area on the right-hand side. And you can actually just click on add audio file here and search your computer for it. Or again, you can drag and drop it. So I'm gonna drag this file over here and drop it in there. And it's gonna apply that to our video. Now you can see it here at the bottom. So if you only want it for a portion of your video, you can use these handles and slide it back and forth just at the bottom, just like that. So if you only wanted music in the beginning or the middle, you could easily um, do it just like that. Um, if you wanted it at the end, you can do that, but we're gonna have it in our whole video just like that. So pull these handles apart if you'd like it for your whole video. The other thing I do like to mention, if you click on this speaker button here on, on the video, or sorry, audio clip in the top right-hand corner, it says adjust volume, left click on that, and you can adjust the volume here for that background audio as well. So if you wanted to turn that down, you can do that. You can fade the audio in at the beginning and you can fade it out at the end. Um, a lot of music like this already has um, fading in at the beginning. So I'm gonna just fade it out at the end because this audio clip is actually over a minute long and we're only gonna be using the first 17 seconds of it. So I'm gonna fade that out at the end. I'm going to hit done and it's gonna apply that to our video. Now, when I go ahead and hit play here, it should have that audio in the background. which it does. So if you wanna add whatever music you like, you can do that exactly like that. Now the next step, step is we just need to export this video so that we can use it for whatever platform we want. Maybe it's just for our personal use or for sharing on social media. 
So from here, once we've got that how we like it, you need to click on finish video up here in the top right hand corner. Just go ahead and left click on that. And we're going to want to check our video quality here. So I highly recommend picking the highest quality of 1080p. Um, but there are some lower qualities there as well. I'm going to hit on that. And we're just going to hit export right here. And when we do that, it's going to ask us where we'd like to save our file. You can see it already created the file name um, that we created at the beginning, Cruise with Music. I'm just going to select my desktop here and then I'm going to hit export and it's going to start exporting that file with the music in the background. And I think it's going to autoplay here so we can see what it looks like. So let me expand this. Perfect, and it's really that easy to add music to the background of your videos here in the Windows 10 video editor. You can see it put the file right where I'd ask it to go cruise with music on my desktop. So we are all set. So I hope this tutorial was able to help you add background music to all your videos in the Windows 10 video editor. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you're interested, I have created a full tutorial of how to use the Windows 10 video editor, not just adding music, but the whole thing from start to finish. So if you'd like to watch that, I'll have it linked below in the description. Also remember to connect with me on social media. You'll find all those links below as well. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.